Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here and I've got some fun design for you today. Have a look review of those beautiful butterflies and dragonfly in here. I did really enjoy playing with this design. It was so relaxing and I could really take my time. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new in here and if you didn't see the, the, any other tutorials on this channel, let's go back. There is about six or seven hundred videos to catch up on. And also hit the subscribe button as well to uh, do not miss any future ones. We are here every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. Let's start. and pretty look at all those colors guys it looks absolutely amazing and i will show you how to do those uh, type of the designs uh, so i'm not going to use the um, tip holder because we want to get a nice coverage obviously doing it on the client is easier because their nails are not moving uh, so i put my tips with the blue tack into the dotting tool it's just much easier for me and then on my mixing palette we are going to uh, grab some uh, gel art black foil using a uh, the spatula actually I like this one because it's two-sided so I'm just picking up a scoop of the product you don't need a lot like uh, it's last few ages And then using the V-liner brush, we are going to paint the first design. I don't want too much product on my brush, just a little bit. And I can see it. Um, if we've got a tiny bit of the product, we've got better control over it. So this is my head. And then the body. I'm not going to rush this design. You mean, uh, I mean, like sometimes, guys, you see me just like slapping something on the tips. This one's, I want them to be nice and pretty. So, no rush. Obviously, the longer time we spend on something, the prettier it is. Letter S. And a number two, ish number two. See, if we paint it slow, we can paint nice and thin lines. Again, we are going to paint a letter S. This time I have picked up a slightly bigger blob of the product. Mm -hmm. 
Bring along with that. And then we are going to paint another letter S. Now let's color that in. So once we have got the outline, I can start shaping it. I have add like a wee triangle on the top. Rounded shape. Another rounded shape in here. Another one. And another one on the top. If I start feeling my brush doesn't behave, I just roll it on my mixing palette so I can clean the excess of the product. Mm -hmm. You can see those lines on the mixing palette. And now I'm just going to do like a thin lines. Going to the body of the butterfly. And one more. Color any empty spaces and we've got a beautiful wing. <coughs> now painting another one on the bottom. And it's going to be like a um, raindrop shape. I usually rather to twist it, so let's do that. Again, rounded shape. And some lines. I think this way we have paint like an absolutely amazing butterfly. <coughs> now a bit of theory before we move on into the next step. So this is rounded and uh, if you get to do it on the tips, if I put it like this, it can touch it and it can destroy my design. So what I'm doing is inside the lamp, I have put a small, small amount of the blue tack. That's the blue tack is like a plastiline. And um, I don't want to put it on my display. <laughs> 
so this is going to stop it from rolling like I usually will put it there and this will stop um, moving it uh, so I've got it inside my lamp and then I can cure it for this gel the black the black uh, foil gel you need to work out your curing time to get a really nice coverage okay so in my lamp I'm using a 60 seconds slow cure uh, motion um, just put it on and count the time so 60 seconds uh, slow curing motion on LED light okay if you um, you need to work it out through your um, your own lamp like because each of them cure it different so I would try it on 30 seconds on 60 seconds 70 seconds 90 seconds probably would be the longest on the low heat mode then we are going to use the gold transfer foil so I'm just cutting a small amount of it make sure your hands are clean and there is no oils on your hands because otherwise it will be a nightmare I have actually done one video I don't think so it was up yet uh, I have done one video where my I have put cuticle oil on my hands oh my goodness it was just disasters like so uh, make sure uh, you've got that right on the mixing palette we are going to pick up another colors uh, and that's as a 200 color I've got six seconds left three two one and I need to take out and the other one is two three four and let's take out the tip and now we are going to transfer the foil you don't want to go with this transfer foil just like whatever uh, I suggest guys you start with one corner the easy corner the foil goes in between your fingers and then you are starting with the one corner just so you get a nice coverage hold it hold it like kind of give a little uh, wiggle so the foil is transferring everywhere and then pull it out and that gives you the most fantastic coverage like if you follow those steps okay the next part which I feel is going to be safe so I don't touch any other parts is just uh, this part here so just press it hold it hold it you could even like count it to like I don't know 10 because uh, also the heat from your finger is heating up the gel as well and then you get a mm, more of a, um, um, better results another part and then another part and you can go over it if you feel like you have maybe missed some place that's me happy with the coverage you can see it nice and gold it looks amazing just the way it is um, but we are going to do another step into that so I'm just cleaning my D-liner brush and I'm adding also another color so that's white 173 on my mixing palette and then we are going to color that in so try to do kind of marble like I have picked like all sort of random colors guys and then we are going to color that in so a first empty space is color and you can decide what kind of colors you want to do it uh, like uh, I try to don't touch the gold parts so here I want those more orangey and the pink one and then the we eyes the rounded shapes I will do it more white in there okay so another one basically I don't even mix those colors like I'm just going with my brush into a different color and this way I get a really nice um, marble effect and then just color that in. Okay. the same effect I wanted into those eye here the rounded shape it looks so pretty just the way it is even like nice and rounded shape get rid of those air bubble air bubble go away oh come on 
in the brush and force this annoying air bubble. <laughs> it doesn't want to burst. Okay, I'm just going to take and set off the brush. I'm just going to take a scissors and just touch this air bubble. <laughs> That's it. I've got three now. Okay, just leave this air bubble. Clean my brush. And now we are going to use the lighter option. So I've got my white and those orangey color. And we are going to color this part in. So much lighter. Make very delicate look. And same on the ones which we've got in here. So we have kind of like swapped the colors. Color in. And it looks absolutely amazing just the way it is really uh, so nice and pretty. We are going to cure it. And uh, we will prepare also some top coat. So high shine no wipe top gel. I'm just putting a scoop of it on the side. <coughs> Pick up my design and then we want to cover with this top coat, we want to cover what we have painted there. Just so we can wrap some Aurora pigment into it. Uh, I love that home, it looks so nice, it's like a multi-chrome, so that's mean on the uh, different color it will look slightly different. Uh, uh, and that's that's why I love it because it gives you like so many possibilities for a really nice and beautiful designs. So color that in with the top coat. Uh, the chrome works on the top of the top coat. That's why we are applying the top coat on the places where we want that chrome. Let's cook it. And now for the chrome, you need to cure it uh, 60 seconds. I will also um, let cure this tip, but tell you a bit about the theory, um, why you have to do some things, uh, because that will be a question. It's like why you couldn't do it. So the tip is matte. Okay, we have painted on the matte surface. Uh, basically, if you would do it on the client, you would put the white gel polish uh, or pink or whichever background you want and then you top coat it. If you top coated it with the no wipe top gel, the chrome is going to stick into the entire tip. Keep that in mind guys. Um, so that's why you want to paint on buffed surface so that the, so the chrome doesn't stick into it. You could also use a matte top coat but uh, remember when we're using a matte top coat like same like a um, no wipe top gel there is supposed to be no inhibition layer but in reality there is a tiny bit of the inhibition layer we cannot feel it with the fingers but that's why the chromes are working so keep that in mind that's why i'm uh, buffing the tips okay so um, you can see this tip is matte and buffed so my chrome is not going to stick into it it will stick into the parts which we have covered with the top coat um, and then we are going to use those beautiful aurora uh, pigment there is a tiny bit inside, but it's last you like ages. Um, I like to apply it with the finger, but maybe I will show you some other tools and that will be quite precise. Let me try it if it will work with the silicone tool, because I used to use silicone tool before. Yes, it just works. And what I can do it is I can just color that in. So just color those beautiful marble which we have created with this amazing chrome and I think it just gives another dimension to the design like it looks so much prettier 
try to don't go over the uh, too much over the transfer foil because it's not top coated it's not protected uh, actually let's do it with the finger as well look how little i've got in there And it gives you this beautiful pearl finished. And then do the same on this part. So with my finger, I kind of tend to remove the excess of it. Then it's, I think it's much more shinier. And you can see it, how pretty it is, the design. Let's top coat it. Oh, actually, I'm going to, because this gel also takes the chromes. It has very inhibition. Uh, there we are. So I have colored that we missing bit in there. Clean it with the finger. You don't want those extra particles flying about. Sorry, I'm really fussy with this design. I wanted it to be nice and pretty butterfly. So I do really take my time today. <clears throat> Just so you also know, guys, and see the difference in between like rushed designs. So I can even show you here. Um, so this one took me a shorter time and okay, it is okay. But even the lines aren't as clean, like, you know, the, the, the antennas and everything. Um, so always the longer time we take, the prettier the things are. Uh, I'm just top coating the entire design now. I just apply it top coat over it. Again, I'm not rushing with the top coat. I'm checking how it reflects the light. So it's nice and pretty. Give it a flash cure. So flash cure is just a couple seconds and then add another scoop of my top coat. Close the pigment so you don't um, swap it. Take away the brush from the lamp. Too late. <clears throat> so I've got a tiny bit of the UV cleanser and I'm trying to see if I can restore my brush. No, I can't. So that's the no wipe top gel cure on my brush. So unfortunately, UV cleanser wouldn't work because it's more gentle. I'm trying the blue scrub and gently trying to take this out from my brush. I love when the things happen on the videos. Sometimes I think maybe I'm doing them for the reason, so you can guys see it, me fixing it. Okay, I'm gently brushing away with my nail the leftovers of the top coat. You cannot press too hard. If you would press it too hard, it will work like a ribbon, you know, when you use the uh, scissors to curl your ribbon. So watch that. But that's my top coat almost off. Yes, I can see. Oh my goodness, I have saved the brush. It wasn't cured properly yet. If it would stay there like a couple seconds longer, it would be just too late. Which had cured product isn't as precise as it should be. I'm just picking up a tiny bit of the gel polish and try to clean at it with the gel polish now. You can see it all this top coat there. That's a cured product there. Yes, I've got it off so you can see it. That's what was stuck on my brush. 
Now to restore that brush, I need to reshape it. So gel polish on my brush. Let it get it nice to the moisturize and you can see it. We've got the brush working again. Yay! <laughs> okay, so let's put it on the side and finish this design. So top coat, I'm cleaning my brush and then use the wipe to remove the excess of that because I had some gel polish in there just to get the moist back into the top coat. Actually painting with the top coat is the most danger uh, thing for your brush because the, the no wipe top coat doesn't soak off so it's the hardest to take it off. What I'm doing now to get even more interesting uh, results, I'm just applying top coat into those uh, places where we've got aurora like i wanted it to be a little bit more raised uh, because it's very warm in here and the top coat is very very uh, thin and runny i have to flash cure it so a couple seconds cure <laughs> keep your brush away my problem is i've got the lamp on the right hand side and because i'm right hand yes and because I'm right hand sided, I tend to put my tools into the right hand side. Ideally, I should put the lamp on the left side, then my brush grows on the right because I, I, I'm just not used to putting the brush into the left side, you know? Um, so I actually need to change that uh, because it does happen really often to me that I'm just getting too excited and then I can kill my brush by accident. Yeah, but it's definitely something yeah obviously it's just happening because I don't want to be all over the place with my hands <laughs> I could possibly yes because I'm holding it yes I could because I'm holding tip with my left hand I like to argue with the cameraman <laughs> Okay, clean my brush, put it on the left side. See, but that's uncomfy for me. I want to put it on the right uh, side. Too close to the camera. To the, I know. It's just jiggling the head. I know. And, and they really cool. wrecked. Actually, you can guys see it. I have been gardening like really hard. My cuticles are disasters. But that's a pretty butterfly which we have created. Uh, uh, now. I will show you also a dragonfly, guys, as well, because I know... Um, it was actually requested, the dragonfly, so let's kill this butterfly and we've got a nice one for collection and then we can do the dragonfly. Actually, the one I did for the camera is prettier than the other one. I'm not sure which one. No, they're both nice. This one is cleaner, uh, definitely. Okay, let's do the dragonfly. So maybe just so it's easier for you guys uh, as well, you can see it first, how the dragonfly looks. It's quite similar to the butterflies. Um, and then let's paint it. So again, clean my brush. I'm so glad I have managed to save it. Oh my gosh. And what we are going to do it is indicate the eyes first. I want to do it more on the side, so uh, also plan your compositions when you're painting. Like if I get the wings in here, like going there this way, I can squeeze more of them. If I get this um, dragonfly too straight, uh, I will have only little room. Okay, so we want to do it eye here, even higher. Should do the eye and the eye there. Let's paint it bigger. So one eye, other eye, some sort of nose. <laughs> and then a little head. Again, I'm going to do it prettier. So no rush. Body. Now, uh, when we're painting uh, to transfer the gold folio, uh, you don't have to really worry about the inside. I'm going to show you. So you don't have to worry about this part where I have put the cross. Uh, even if it's ugly, it is okay because we are going to cover it later on. 
what you want to do it is make sure your edges are nice and clean okay and then we are going to paint the bum part <laughs> And some tiny wee ones. Twist them and then make them longer. <laughs> okay, then the wings. So the wings look slightly different. They aren't as big as the butterfly wings. But we can still put some design inside the wing and I think that is pretty nice. And then another wing on the bottom. Okay, now let's do the design. What I'm doing is I'm I'm kind of dragging the product I've got already there. And do the same here. Those kind of uh, designs where we've got different thickness of the um, uh, foil gel are the most difficult and I tell you guys why. Sorry, I had to concentrate to paint the other part of the swing. <clears throat> they are quite difficult because the product is curing at the different speed. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, usually we want to, we should separate this design. So that's mean I should do the part which is the same thickness, like this thickness which we've got uh, not inside the wings but outside the wings and the body. I should cure it first, uh, transfer the foil and then do the line and transfer the foil. This way you will get a much nicer results uh, because you've got different thickness of the product and that's mean you are going to, um, the product will cure at different speed. That's why also it is difficult to say to someone like what time to cure it because each of us paint different thickness of the lines. Okay, so I've got another wing in here. Do those veins. Nice and thin. So if, you, if you've got troubles with the transfer foil, I do really suggest you do, um, you do it at, um, at two separate goals. Okay, just touch up it and then we've got the dragonfly. I didn't want to paint it, it also too large as well just so you can guys uh, see it like um, more realistic kind of results. I'm not going to cure it at 60 seconds uh, because if I cure it at 60 seconds I will definitely over cure my thin lines 
so I'm going to go for uh, 50 seconds just so I can get a uh, better results even 47 seconds you know <laughs> cut a piece of the gold foil uh, so I had 90 cameraman 90 I need to cure it about 47 maybe seconds yeah <laughs> So 45 will be half of that time, so 45 and then I need to have, oh gosh, this is terrible, that's why I do the news, <laughs> not the math. I used to be good at the math, but now I just can't be bothered. Okay, 41, 2, there we are, 42 or 1 second, whatever. Okay, so take the transfer foil. Place it on the one wing first. Lift it up. Perfect. 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 You can see it, it transferred even into those tiny veins. So adjust your curing time. What I love about it is because it's on the dotting tool, it's so easy, guys, um, because the tip doesn't move and it cannot move for that. I've got it everywhere. Nice and clean application, like really beautiful. It looks awesome just like this, like, you know, like you don't have to do it, anything else about it. Now, uh, I'm going to start with this uh, place, which I told you, you don't have to bother about it. So, and we are going to go for orangey color there, you know what, so that's this place here. See, we are coloring it in, that's why we didn't have to bother about it. And then the same color in here, just we dot. Again, I'm doing this marble because I think it looks fantastic. And then color the wings. Very little product, so that we've got very fine lines in there. You have to be kind of like very precise. See what's happened there. I have went not precise and I have almost colored that in. Let me flash cure it. So that's two seconds cure just to freeze my product so the gel polish doesn't, um, doesn't run anymore. I like it, um, the fact we, uh, how this colors goes together, like it's so pretty. Okay, then the next one. So the one on the bottom, we are too much product. We are going to do it more white and orange. Hardly any product left. Is it visible on the camera? So you can see it guys, how little product I've got. And now like on the first go, I had too much product. Now I've got the right amount. Sometimes when I'm painting like really advanced designs, I'm talking like really advanced designs, um, I'm just doing it with the dots of the products, like even less than I've got it now on the brush. So basically this is what I would be painting with, like guys, see? Put the brush on the side. 
remove that flash curet. And then we can start rubbing the aurora in. So flash cure, top coat over our design. On the places where we want aurora pigment in. So in here and there. I think they are really fun designs to do it. Like absolutely amazing. So much fun. In very little top coat. Remember, your brush has lots of product inside the bristles, so you don't have to flood it. If you learn how to work with a very small amount of the product, your work will always look much better as well. Like, you know, nice and clean brush, almost nothing on it. Now we have to cure it exactly 60 seconds because we want to wrap the pigment into it the brush so it doesn't cure again. I don't want to cut you know the things into just videos because I do really um, I think like those kind of information are so useful. Now finally I'm not working with the transfer foil anymore. I should put cuticle oil over my fingers like we have been painting the fence and and um, doing a bit of garden work uh, so have been really really busy with that. I love those designs, like it so, looks so pretty, really amazing. Especially how they reflect the light, like I'm going to go even like closer so you can see it guys. Uh, I have um, also played with this one too, uh, I think it's so nice and pretty uh, as well and we will do the tutorial on that. Also the Aurora looks so pretty as uh, those kind of designs. And it looks even more amazing uh, as those type of designs. So like there is so many other options and possibilities, uh, you know, to to use this uh, Chrome. It, it's my favorite one. Like I love it. I cannot live without of that one. Uh, let's wrap this in. so pretty it looks like a little pearls you could actually do it your own liquid uh, stone pearls customize for your clients <gasps> wedding meals oh my gosh this is so pretty You can see it, this, like, I mean, without of Aurora, it looks pretty as well, uh, but I think it just gives another uh, dimension to it, applying the, the chrome over it. And you just need so very little of it. It just gives this beautiful pearl finish. We remove the excess. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, wow. I need to hide my ugly nails from under me. It's so wet. We need to go to bin. I want Aurora. Okay, let's top coat it quickly. So the entire um, design, we can top coat it. Sorry, it is me just like going like, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. <laughs> And uh, dragonflies are quite um, awesome looking on the nails and you would do it like, you know, on the on the ring finger, um, just like on the one nail, those kind of designs, the ones which are more advanced. I love the top coat, uh, I love to paint with the top coat when it's so nice and thin, like when it's so warm, the top coat thins out, like uh, any kind of gel, gel uh, becomes much thinner. Um, when it's warmer and it's thicker when it's uh, cold. Uh, so that's actually a bonus. Quickly, after we freeze it, we can apply those couple places. I don't want to overdo it, so I'm just doing like a wee dot in there. I think that's even a March, the Aurora effect, um, if we do those dots with the top coat. Let's cook it. Again, just a couple seconds, one, two, three, that's plenty just to freeze the product. 
and then I'm going to do it just in some places again I don't want all of them it kind of give us more dimension the middle one has to be the most raised and that's enough let's cook it and then I show you all of them that wasn't cooked <laughs> okay uh, yeah, you, you, you can find, you will be able to find, they either already published or they will be published very soon, those kind of designs as well. And that's another one which we have done it today. Hit the share button, pretty, pretty, pretty free, please. We're trying to hit those 1,000, no, 100,000 uh, subscribers uh, on the channel. And that's so nice and beautiful. I love it. I do really love it. It's pretty, really pretty. I need to show you guys from this angle as well. And I need to go like so zoomed in. So pretty. Wow. Actually, the ones I did on the camera are better. Usually it's the opposite way because on the camera is so difficult to talk. But because this video is so long today and you can guys see it, the difference uh, in between taking the time and not taking the time because usually I'm kind of like showing you only like rubbish quick designs <laughs> so i hope for the change i'm going to take my time today i'm sending you glittery hugs and bye